Welcome, we are now on a Mac and I would like to have a ISO of Arco Linux. So we could either type in SourceForge Arco Linux because it hosted there or you would probably do something like this Arco Linux and then download and see where you end up. You have this link here that says Arco Linux download and we have here the information to download an ISO from SourceForge there is also more information telling you, hey, if you have a slow download, you can fix it. And if you want to check if it's correct what you downloaded, you can do that as well. So we're going to download this uh, because it will take a little bit of time. You saw maybe it was a little bit quick here, but there are two kind of ISOs available. One that's two gigabytes big and one that's one gigabyte big. And you check out on articlinux.info what this is all about. Now, to be able to burn an ISO on my Mac, I do need to have something, and it's called Etcher. You need to Google Etcher and install it. It just works, and you download it for Mac. You have other possibilities, as you see. You can do it for Windows and for Linux as well, and it will work. So, the download is coming in. I wonder if I clicked actually on my download here, because I don't see anything, and the downloads are here. So, I did not click on it, so let's get it this time. By the way, if you have problems downloading, you just check, uh, check something else, because Prague is something that's not very nearby. So, cancel. I'm going to take Free France. It's a little bit faster, maybe, than the one in Prague. And off we go. We're going to save this one, and that one is now downloading as well. So, installing this DMG disk image on Mac is a little bit different than other systems. So, what, what's happening is that something comes in here. So, this is mounted and then you have to move this one to that one. And this is actually just a shortcut, so a symbolic link to your applications or programmas in Dutch. So, it just copies it to a place. That's all it does and that's in here in the favorites in the bookmarks. So if we want to install Etcher, well sorry, uh, run Etcher, we just double click it and then it says this program is from the internet. Do you want to open it? I say open it and you might have issues because of that. Um, let's see if it will open. I don't know what I said previously. So it did open but what, it, what if it's uh, not opening, then you go to your system preferences to security and you have here this uh, admit, admit that applications that are downloaded that can be uh, opened. So all you have to do is click here, tell who you are and then say every source is okay. Every source, whatever, every source is okay. Okay, so that's how you fix it and then you can lock it again. So I'm waiting for my download, everything is set up, not everything, since uh, this can be, well, uh, stopped and this one should actually go uh, away. So remove is what it says here and what you have in here in your downloads folder can also be deleted. So once it's installed, no need to keep it, you can put it in your bin. So we're waiting for the download. Let's see how far we are. We are more or less in the middle. You can see it's already here. So let's pause the video here for a while. Okay, let's resume the video. It is downloaded here, as you can see. I need to select myself an image. Maybe it even works when you drop on it. Sometimes that works, but the application does not seem to respond. So you go to your download and click here and open, that's one thing. And I have to pop in now a drive. Now I have a USB disk that's already formatted from Linux. Uh, it's already has Arch Linux on it. And it says, hey, what is this? I don't recognize this. And then you say, initialize. And we have now this, this one is our Store media. I'm gonna wipe everything. This, this is the name, what it says here is wipe. So I'm gonna 
use xfat or something mbr I'm gonna wipe everything I'm ready he says selecting drive is probably not possible right now is it yes it is possible so I'm gonna use this one these are my backup drives so I don't want to overwrite those so be careful if you have multiple things in there so these are my things up here so it's this one that I need and that's this one so continue so correct put this one on that one and flash it and we're off and we're the only thing you have to do was wait and everything is going to be put on your USB I wait till I see something else all right then starting so ETA two minutes ahead and then everything will be burned it's already dropping down to 1 minute 40 seconds so you just wait and then you can unplug your uh, USB by just clicking here you know what to do it's a little sign you have here and then it's popped out and you can take it physically out then alright cheers